Hey, color squad. Okay, so I wanted to do a video this week. I made one. I looked at it today, and I just really wasn't happy with it. Yes, my hair is different because I may be going back to natural hair before it's all with, and my hair is really curly. I don't know. Went and got some kids today. I don't know. But anyway, that's not what I got on here about. What I got on here about is to talk to you guys about my story. And I don't mean my diabetic story, but it all tied in. Um, some of the reason why I have not been making videos or doing blog posts or anything for the last year, and I just started back up again, is because I'm, one, I'm going to force myself to do it. No matter how bad I feel because of my Ehlers-Danlos um, Syndrome Type 3, it shuts my muscle system down. It's killing my muscle system physically. I already have a piece of my L5S1 and I, my L3, L4 now has a bulge in it. And the doctors said it's not enough that they want to do surgery yet, but they're going to. Um, and my there's movement in the piece that they put in my back as well in the L5S1 section. So it, unfortunately, I got I went to the, um, the endo recently um, two weeks ago, I think it was. And I, this is, like I said, I already filmed this video and I changed my mind. I didn't like it. So, um, what happens is, is when I went to the endo, my, we noticed there was a change in my physical, um, A1C. It went up from 6.4 to 6.7. Yeah, it's not bad, but Danielle wants it down. You know me. I'm just not that type of a person. Um, I, my daughter says perfectionist. No, it's called I want to be around long enough to see if she ever gets married and has kids or adopts kids. I want to be around to see grandkids is the reason why. And then, or I just want to be around to see things. So, and like I said, just to be around and hang out with her more. So then my mom, as you know, mama glucose has been deathly sick. I mean, so sick. It's not even funny. So, um, we're dealing with her as well. Um, I have started losing weight. Unfortunately, I'm off of the ketamines, which is bad. It's so bad, you guys. The pain is excruciating, and this is because of the EDS. So I'm trying to go back to work this month. I'm only going to work like 20 hours a week for a couple months and see how things work out. If I have to extend this out permanently, it's going to be permanent. Um, I put off putting making this video because I was talking to Anita, and I told her, I said, Anita... Um, I don't know. Anita's my buddy off of T1D Lifestyles, like you guys know, on Instagram that we do monthly. Um, sometimes every week, sometimes not. So, Anita told me, she said, Danielle, I said, Anita, I, well, I'm sorry, I get squirrel moments because of this situation. It takes my mental because of all the meds and things I'm on. I said, Anita, I really don't know if I am ready to deal with telling people about what's going on with me. I have, as you see, my face is discolorized. Look at this. Two different things. This is what's going on. It discolorizes my body. Um, the doctor said when I went in, the endo said when I went in, he says, Daniel, I got some of your tests back. He hadn't gotten the other ones back until just recently, so I had to send him another letter. He says he knew there was something going on with my, um, my um, what do you call it? Uh, so sorry, guys. I gotta, my brain is messed up right now. He knew there was something going on with my thyroid. Thank you. My daughter's in the background talking. She knew there was something going on with my... He knew there was something going on with my thyroid. And we thought it was bad. It was like a 1.01, which is not good. But then he got like... They sent some... T t because of the corona, whatever virus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Because of that, they had to send some of the tests outsourced to LabCorp. And LabCorp is... Um, a pretty big unit i think it's pretty much nationwide if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure so don't quote me on that but um they sent to lab core lab core sent back a bunch of results and like a rush because they were bad they were really bad so um whatever's going on and we're not sure if it's because i'm not taking the ketamines anymore or what whatever's going on he confirmed and um, told me again after i was told i didn't that i have a thyroid issue I kind of want him to do the surgery to yank it. I am going to talk to him about that soon. He's not going to like it. If it's not down in August, um, my, I always had a, a la, since 2015 or 2005, really, uh, I got in a head on wreck. I almost died. Um, the car and the bad part was that the person did it on purpose because this is how they 
got money from insurance companies every year. They sued the person's insurance and said they were at fault. But there was too many witnesses there, so I won the case. But the problem is, is the lawyer stole the money. So you guys wonder why I'm always asking and trying to put up GoFundMe. When I really don't ask a lot. I'm the first person to go and put up a Go um to go and pay on somebody's GoFundMe. I've donated to people I barely know. I've donated to causes I barely know. But when it comes to mine, I can't get anyone to donate. I am going to put, um, if you guys, any little amount, it doesn't matter what it is. If you want, if you're willing to, because my insurance company will not cover it. Um, plus, the people keep writing it up wrong. We're trying to get them to cover it. They just keep writing it up wrong. If um, you can, I'm going to put my GoFundMe link down in the comments um, of this video. Click on that link. Go over Every little bit helps. I know we've got COVID-19 going on, but I'm struggling uh, and I'm trying to, I'm going to do a lot of videos either in my bed or I'm going to do a lot of videos in chairs because I can't really get up a lot. When I do, I pay for it so bad. Like for instance, my back and my shoulders, all this, if you look here and you look there, all that's swollen. I mean, all this is swollen. It's totally swollen right now. This is swollen and this is swollen really bad. Um, all this is like, it's not really just fat and I'm not gonna lie to you but I've gained the weight because of the calories that are in every ketamine and tramadol um trigger shot I'm sorry ketamine and trigger point shot that I've had every um dopamine shot that I've had right now they're maintaining me because of COVID-19 I can't even get my darn shots anymore I can't get my ketamine treatments which was uh twice a month I can't get them anymore unfortunately every two weeks I have them so I don't know what's going on. I really do wish this never happened because it's killing a lot of people's lives. It really is. I really, really need a wheelchair. I'm trying to get a per mobile, P-E-R-M-O-B-I-L, up to like 300 pounds um, just in case I need that buffer. I do gain a lot of weight. I'm actually starting to lose weight now that I'm not on it. So I may be down further later. But you guys, that's why I tell you, please don't make fun of people because you never know. You guys, I've gained in the last two, three years over 170 over 190 pounds because of this condition that no one ever told me about again we knew about the ehlers danlos but it wasn't confirmed about my um thyroid they said it wasn't true and they were lying and i mean just all kinds of crazy mess so you know i'm tired i'm extremely tired you guys and every little bit helps i may get video games or something like that every once in a while but usually they're given to me i'm usually not buying them um so it's rare if i do i may buy a 14 dollar one or 13 dollar one every once in a blue moon maybe but i really don't i haven't bought video games in a while i, I usually they're pre-ordered and they're ordered a year or two in advance before we realize that the insurance company keeps come, like saying they're not going to do this stuff so you guys may hear me talk about video games but i've done video games for years that's my de-stressor because my hands get so bad um, they're not too bad right now and I'm hoping they stay that way but you see the facial difference between my face and my hands there's heavy discolorization because of the treatments and things I've been dealing with so I'm gonna go lighten up again I know that's vain vanity but whatever that's what you got that's what you got you do what you gotta do but um physically I need my wheelchair I would love to get my wheelchair and smart drive piece which is on the per mobile website um you guys I'm hurting I'm in so much pain. The stupid Ehlers Danlos is driving me crazy. And the doctors are besides themselves. I'm their worst case. I couldn't go to a really well known clinic where I live at because it's too far away and my daughter didn't drive. My mom and dad are busy. They're in their seventies. They they had their own stuff. Now Mama Glucose is six, so it's really a hassle. It's such a hassle. Anybody being ill or and everything going on, we're really worried about her um so i've kind of really put my stuff on the back burner i've moved around more i paid for it i am paying for it i can walk to a certain extent but i have to have canes crutches or walkers or walker chair conversions or things just to get around so you won't ever see me without a cane you won't ever see me without a walker in these videos you're more likely to see me either laying down or physically um setting a chair or some type of comfortable recliner somewhere and I'm sorry about that, but I love making videos for you guys. That's the reason why I do this. I absolutely love doing it because I'm one of those people that likes, even though I work from home, I love dealing with people. So it doesn't bother me to work from home. It really doesn't. 
and I've been off of work for a year or more because of uh, more than a year actually because of my health it's been that bad uh, I had to cut back this whole condition is crippling my body to the point where I had to cut back part time so I, my parents I'm blessed to live with them because it, literally if my daughter and I wasn't we'd be homeless we really would be homeless so I mean they understand income taxes they're gone <laughs> those went to like bills I max out my stuff my medical two usually two second month and it's bad I've done it for years and we started looking at uh, what we spent money wise on on medicines and AIDS it's obscene it really is obscene and literally I've gotten myself in a debt half the time because I'm dealing with this and it's hard so I get it you guys I really do I don't want y'all to think that I don't get it so I'm sorry if I don't make the videos that's really what this is all about because my Ehlers Danlos is so crippling you um it's spelled e-h-l-e-r-s d-a-n-l-o-s syndrome type 3 which is hypermobility um and we haven't had any further testing now we can't because of the covid we were going to have some more testing for some other things but they're showing up little by little but he's worried because my um thyroid is pushing really hard into my um throat area and stuff um yeah, thyroid's up in the throat area, right? Something like that. Yeah, y'all know. It's all good. I do believe. I know it's sad. Um, I could have swore he said, yeah, it's a, my girlfriend had hers done. So it's pushing. It's pushing really hard. And I already have a burnt esophagus. It's totally burnt. It's been burnt since 2005, as far as we know. 2005. We're not sure why it got burnt. But, um, it, yeah, it's really crazy. I'm going to look this up. Where is the... I love you, Mom. I really do. Located at. I know it sounds stupid, but I have squirrel moments. I can't remember half of what I used to remember. Yeah, so literally it's pushing up so half the time I can't swallow and I can't eat. So a lot of people look at me and they're like, I've had crazy not you guys are very good about not making the comments, but I've had a I've had more comments than I used to have. Um negativity, you guys know I tell you, if you don't want comments back and you don't want people being nasty to you don't say anything if you like your mama said if you can't say anything nice don't say anything at all that's where i'm at so i tell you people not to do it because i just think it's the nastiest thing and it makes a person feel so bad because you don't know what their situation is and my, like my daughter said i went from <laughs> when this all started i went from a size uh five six six eight in that crazy all the way up to way more than that that's all i'm gonna say never ask a woman her size way more than that um, I have done really well to lose weight and right now it's uh, starting to happen again but I don't know how long it's going to last and if I can physically manage I'm not going to go back I think and do any more ketamines because they're really not working they're just barely taking the edge off but I may have to do what I have to do because I'm in so much pain and it wouldn't be so bad I have the spinal cord injury the spinal cord injury happened not because of anything physical happened because I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and it's tearing my muscle system up. So they said the rest of my muscles will eventually atrophy soon here. We're not sure why they're so accelerated, but I got sick last year really bad for four months and all of a sudden, uh-oh, Danlos, that's where it went to. It was really bad. So I'm just telling you guys my story and why I haven't been around and why I haven't been doing videos and posting vlogs and I'm sorry I really am but I really do love you guys I love you guys so much I love dealing with the diabetic community I love dealing with um, other communities I deal with I advocate for Ehlers Danlos as well um, I'm a, 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 a striped zebra I love that I, I advocate for that as well I advocate diabetes more because my type one ugh, it, it's more of what I knew about before even my Ehlers Danlos. And I gotta do more research on Ehlers Danlos because I don't know as much as I should know. But I used to be able to do the craziest things as a kid and even up until I used to be a martial artist. So even up until we found out why I could do the things I could do, I hadn't stopped. I finally stopped. I used to um used to ballroom dance, I used to break dance, I used to do all kinds of stuff I shouldn't have been doing. So well not shouldn't, let's just say it this way that we didn't realize was hindering my body and is going to mess it up later even worse so um i miss it i can't really ballroom dance that much if i do try to do anything i pay and like i'm gonna have to get out of this chair because i'm hurting i've been here for a couple hours trying to get my body ready for work again and it's not really working well i don't know how i'm gonna do it 
I'm hoping um, I can get social security disability. I know it's sad that I have to get it at my age, but I can't even work full time. I used to work a hundred hour work week. I spent way too many years doing that. And me and my mom both said we worked our bodies to death. And you, it's possible you can't do it. So everybody knows. Stuff like this is not a fine science. You're going to be sick. You're going to feel bad. It's normal. I finally decided to get on here and do the video because I was okay with doing it. So I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not going to rant anymore, but um, I'll put my link down there. Whatever. Anybody famous, you see it. I mean, literally, I'm not out for that. I really don't care. I, if I can't get it, I'll get it in God's time. That's what I'm saying. And um, my mom, she made this crazy comment. We were taking her to one of her, uh, she's got possible cancer. We are taking her to one of her doctors. She already has a blood cancer that's not active. But now she has uh, what they think is a pancreatic liver cancer, unfortunately. And she has diabetes too. So we're doing tests and trying to get her together. And hopefully to God she doesn't have it. But we're not sure. Everything is leaning towards it is what they're saying. So... I was talking to her, and I was like, Mommy, we worked ourselves to death. We should have never done it. She was like, yeah, we should have never done it. Then. I was bad. She said, and we tell my daughter, you stay off of work. We'll deal with it, whatever. Go to school. I get on her when I get mad. I really don't mean it. I don't. And I, I apologize as much as possible. I, I'm tired of apologizing because I, if I wasn't like this, I wouldn't have to. But I don't have a choice. I apologize because, like I said, you do it in God's time. I'm not going to sit here and make an excuse for what I can't do so I do apologize I am I am making an excuse because I'm telling you but it's it's a valid situation it's a valid fact not excuse I'm making a valid fact as to why I can't do anymore so when I don't do the videos don't get mad I do I love you guys to death I really do and I I am so 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 grateful for the over 800 plus subscribers you color squatters thank you so very much keep spreading the word keep doing your thing put in comments what you want to talk about let me know what you want to hear on my channel covid's not going anywhere and neither is color me glucose so um if it comes to the fact that this thyroid gets worse and my doctor does have to do the surgery to take it out i'll be glad because i asked another doctor to do it years ago and uh, that's why we're not with that endo anymore <laughs> it's like that way so, I'm just going to tell you guys this way. If that happens, I'll let you know ahead of time and let you know how long they think I'll be off because God's been blessing me. I did the surgery the first time on my back in 2015. Got back up in four months and said six. I pushed it to get my new job because I've wanted this job for over 22 years. So, that's why I get to get back to work because I just can't. I don't like always being off, but... Pray for me. Pray for everybody else who's got it. But it does hinder my diabetes. It hinders it really bad. So I go through so much insulin. It's crazy. But we're working on it. We are. It's just something you got to work on. But thank you so very much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.